is it worth the money? Is the quality worth it? How much can it really hold inside? We're gonna kind of go through all of these questions throughout this video. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very exciting. We are going to be doing another luxury bag review. As the title of this video reveals, we are going to be reviewing the Loewe basket bag. I always thought the brand was pronounced Loewe, but apparently it's Loewe. So we're gonna go with that. This is the medium size basket bag that they offer. I've been eyeing this for years. Like I kid you not, it's been on my wish list for the last two or three years but just couldn't justify the price especially because i live in canada i live in montreal this is just not an appropriate choice of bag for seven out of the 12 months that we have here so is it worth the money is the quality worth it how much can it really hold inside we're going to kind of go through all of these questions throughout this video so before jumping on in into this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already as well as give this video a big thumbs up for me so I know that you like this type of video these types of reviews so without further ado let's just jump right on into this review first things first I purchased this in January of this year the reason was because I had a trip to Miami booked in February and I thought this would just be a really cute bag to bring along I don't really have any beach bags I knew that I had wanted it on my wish list for a while so I figured that I would just splurge bite the bullet it had been on my wish list for so long I was like whatever justify the price or not I'm going to purchase this bag and bring it on my Miami trip I bought it off of Nordstrom at the time I am based in Canada so unfortunately Nordstrom no longer exists which is very sad but I do believe that they also have this on essence as well as Holt Renfrew Ogilvy's I will try and find it where I can and link it down below for you guys if you just want an easy direct link to shop but that was the reasoning behind buying this I was really hesitating on the size between the medium and large size but decided to go with the medium and I'm really happy that I did I just think the medium size is perfect the large size is quite large you can probably definitely fit a lot more than the medium size for me the small was way too small I just was like it looks kind of like a bucket bag and I was like I want something that looks a little bit more like a beach bag like something that's a little bit bigger I can actually fit fruit in here when I go to the market in the summer fit some flowers in there whereas the small like you really you can't fit anything in it so I'm very happy with the size that I ended up going with although it looks a lot bigger than what it can actually hold the size of the bag like it looks like it's a decent size but because of the shape because it's kind of like a funnel shape like it's going in the base of the bag is actually not very big you can definitely stack up so let's say you're putting your wallet and then a book on the bottom that's pretty much all you can fit but then you can stack on top so that it fills up to the brim so if you have like a sweater you want to throw in some clips your phone you know your headphones you can definitely stack up but the thing is is that it's very open right like there's no clasp to close it so you have to be careful because items can fall out on my trip I did bring this as my carry-on on the airplane so I did have quite a bit of things inside what I personally did was it comes with a dust bag and I actually just used the dust bag to kind of protect everything that was inside. So the book that I brought, my headphones, kind of everything that I wanted to bring on the plane with me, I put in the dust bag and then I put inside of this bag and it fit quite nicely. So that's just like a little hack. I actually suggest using the dust bag as a little bag that you can put or not necessarily the dust bag it comes with, but a small dust bag of some sort that you have that you can like put in here. My next reasoning is because of the material of the bag so this was what I was hesitant with to begin with because of the price of the bag I thought that this straw like material was just not worth the price and I'm gonna say as someone who has bought the bag who absolutely loves the look of the bag is obsessed and has no regrets actually buying the bag it definitely is not worth the price point like I said I used this as a carry-on on the plane so it was quite heavy I had a book in there I had some heavy headphones in there as well as like a water bottle and just like a bunch of stuff in there and it got to a point where the bottom was actually starting to cave a little bit imagine my brand new bag I had it was like my first time using it I wanted to cry this material is very flimsy it's very easy to fall out I think something literally just popped out as you guys can see there's like little frays already coming out of the bag it's just it's not great quality like look at the bottom of this bag 
the quality is just not there. You have to be very careful. I feel like it's very easy to like ruin this bag. I paid over $900 with this before tax. So again, for the price point, like you're buying a $900 bag and it's kind of falling apart already the first time or it's like fraying the first time you're using it. It just is not, it's, it's not, I'm gonna be point blank, it is not worth it for the quality. Although you could argue that you, no one buys designer for the quality, but this bag is especially true when it comes to that. You're purchasing it for the look and for the name of the brand. The quality is just not there and you do need to be very careful and take very good care of this bag when you are using it. The next thing I really do like about this bag as well is that you can style it kind of two different ways. The handles of the bag can be used normally like this. You can actually take this part out of the bag and put the strap so that it's actually front to back instead of side to side which is kind of a really fun and different look i haven't seen any of these basket bags that you can like adjust the handles like that and i do think it is cute and it does kind of give it a unique look i also want to say this was a big question i had with the medium size if the straps were big enough for me to put it kind of over my shoulder instead of just holding it from the straps like this and the answer is yes, the straps are adjustable like I said, so I have it actually on the lowest one. So this is the max size that you can have and it is kind of close to your armpit, but it still kind of works. This is what it looks like over the shoulder. I am so excited to style this in the summer now that spring has finally sprung in Montreal and summer is on its way. I'm actually really excited to have this as my main bag. I'm very happy that I purchased it. Like I said, I know it's kind of, you know, I was roasting it a little bit, the quality. I'm just speaking facts, it's just the truth, but I do not at all regret buying this bag. Like I said, it was on my wish list for so long and I'm so happy I finally bit the bullet and that it is part of my collection because it is such a timeless piece. Like this is just never we're gonna go out of vogue it really is a bag that you can gravitate towards every summer it's classic colors i went with the darker brown leather color they also have it in like a white creamy kind of color i was like going back and forth between the white and then this darker brown color and i'm really happy i decided to go with this one just because i feel like white can get dirty and i just think that this is just it's giving summer i don't know i don't know how to explain it but it really complements the shade of the basket so well and i'm i'm in love it's 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 a stunning bag so that is my review for you guys i think i touched on every point i wanted to touch on let me know if you guys have any other questions regarding this bag in the comments down below and i'll be sure to get back to you i hope that you found this video helpful if you were thinking of biting the bullet and purchasing this straw lueve bag it's a question of your opinion of what's important to you what's not it's really what it comes down to some people are gonna think i'm crazy for splurging on such a bag that is just such poor quality but i personally like i said i have no regrets i love the look of it i hope you guys liked this video if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below as well if you have not already and join our family here on youtube i love you guys so much and i will see you very soon with another new video bye